as you could say, certified concert girly. Um, my favorite thing to do is going to concerts. I mean, if I don't go to a concert for a certain amount of time, it's like, send help. Okay, so as the caption says, or the title, <laughs> I couldn't think of it. As the title says of this video, um, I'm gonna be telling you guys how to get barricade for your favorite artists and also just like concert tips like how to get tickets since like these days it seems like really hard to get tickets i even struggle with it i'm gonna sit on my bed rather than my chair because it's more comfortable i'm also rocking the not the bottom of my sock i'm <laughs> ah! i'm rocking my christmas not even christmas but five below pajamas they're these are so comfortable not sponsored i mean five below you could sponsor me but Go get these because they're really comfortable and they're really nice. This is from Billy's tour. I don't know why I'm giving you like a whole fit check, but. Okay, so the first step is obviously buying the tickets. This can be the hardest part of like the whole concert experience. Obviously, if you want to be barricade or front row, whichever you call it, you have to either get GA pit, which is like, I'll show a picture no seats on the floor and just a whole pit of people or you buy it like buy whatever number seat are on the floor i know some artists do seating on the floor rather than a pit because it can be safer honestly i think it's even in my opinion i was gonna say I mean, you might have better chances of getting for row, but it's hard it's hard both ways so when buying your tickets you obviously want to make sure that you one have a ticketmaster account ticketmaster is where you're gonna get all of your concert tickets for face value and getting them face value is what you want because listen the prices that people are reselling tickets for these days they're crazy like even like in the past two years there's been such a huge difference i remember buying like a ticket for a concert in 2021 and it being like 150 dollars for a pit ticket and then now it's like 700 dollars like and then people were selling it for like 1500 and I'm like, no. So like I was saying, you need your Ticketmaster account. Whatever artist you want to be front row and honestly just like want to get tickets for overall. Follow them, obviously, on Instagram. Honestly, all the social media platforms. But most importantly, Instagram because that's where they're going to like it. Probably now to tour first. And then follow all of the arenas and venues and stadiums in your area. So for me, I live in Chicago. So I follow United Center, Soldier Field, which is a stadium. United Center is an arena. And then I also follow Aragon Ballroom, House of Blues, Big Theater, you know, places like that. I just say follow like all follow those arenas because i heard about billy's tour in 2021 from united center before i heard it from her so i was like able to get a heads up before like she posted it on her like hundreds of millions of followers on instagram i heard it from like the hundred thousand that united center has so i say follow all of the arenas stadiums and venues all the venues in the area because they might post it before the actual artist says then you're like oh wow i get like i'm telling you earlier than the actual artist is so after you follow um, all of like the venues on Instagram have those post notifications on because you want to be notified right when they announce that tour okay so now it's the day that the tour was announced and you're ready to buy those tickets make sure as soon as it's announced you go to that link that whoever posted it and sign up for the pre-sale sign up for the ver the verified fan pre-sale whatever you like to call it because honestly now if you don't get that verified fan depending on how big the artist is you want to see say i'm going to go see billy if you don't get that verified fan you basically what i was saying is that if you don't get that verified fan then you'll have a lower chance of getting tickets at face value of course they have the general sale there was one artist i tried to see they did not have a general sale they just had the verified fan and i was because they ran out of tickets and i was like was it Melanie? I think it was Melanie Martinez. No, because she had a general sale. Somebody didn't have a general sale and I was a slow sale and I was like, they just had that verified fan. So like I didn't get I didn't get it because I didn't get verified fan because I signed up late. The faster you sign up for verified fan, the better chance you have at getting it. And the better chance you have at getting tickets. I cannot stress this enough. If you don't sign up for verified fan now, you're gonna have like a super low chance of getting tickets. Like obviously you still can. But it's just going to be like a hundred times harder to get it at the actual like the regular general sale rather than getting it like on the verified fan sale. 
Okay, so after you sign up for Verified Fan, you're basically just gonna wanna wait. Usually it's the night before that they tell you, oh, you got this code, whatever the code is, you're like allowed to like be a part of the pre-sale Verified Fan thingy, which is gonna be the day after. What you can do to help your checkout go faster is in your Ticketmaster account, have your, your card details, like the PIN, your card number already like logged in there you can add it onto your Ticketmaster account if you have that then when you check out all you have to do is put in your pin number and then you're done you don't have to like go to your purse grab your card and like put it all in which is gonna take so much longer and then somebody else is gonna get your ticket you're gonna be like and then you're like oh well this they're selling out so fast it's honestly so stressful buying tickets is so stressful honestly if you just follow this like everything that you're supposed to do you have a high like chance of getting it the night before you'll get an email from Ticketmaster saying whether you got a code to be a part of the pre-sale or you got waitlisted if you got waitlisted you're basically out of luck <laughs> and it, it's sad i hate to say that because i've gotten waitlisted and they say oh if you're on the waitlist you can get out you might be able to like get off the waitlist later and they'll let you in the pre-sale I have never been let off the waitlist before. Out of like 10, I think I've seen like, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here, but like I've seen like maybe like two people get off the waitlist and they weren't even people I knew. You can try to go to the box office to buy tickets. I don't know if you can buy them before, but I know you can get them day of and see what they have left. That's your other chance, either resale or box office. And box office usually will be closer or at value, base value rather than those resale tickets. That's like, it's the day of the sale and you want to be in the line for the queue 30 minutes to an hour before. They tell you 10 minutes, but I always get in the line 30 minutes to an hour before. If you have a laptop, I prefer buying tickets on a laptop rather than my phone. I think it's just better and somehow it works faster. <sighs> Sorry guys, I had a long day. Once they let you in to get those tickets, you need to be quick. It is so stressful, but just try not to like freak out and freeze up because they go so fast. It's scary and stressful. It's literally like going into war. I know that sounds dramatic. My sister's looking at me like, but it's literally like going People into like- People die in the war. You won't die like, if you don't get concert tickets. It's like a ticket war. People literally call it the Ticketmaster War. <laughs> okay. My grandma's calling us. Shout out to my grandma. <laughs> Wait, she, she's gonna watch this and be like... They're gonna be in the, in the video, look. In the YouTube video. <laughs> oh my God. Say, the video. say, say hi. No. <laughs> now that you bought your tickets, hopefully you're able to. But the next step is, uh, I guess, waiting until the concert. Next is working on getting barricade. This segment is for my GA pit people. Try not to camp alone if you're like camping overnight or for um, multiple nights. Take somebody with you, please, because sleeping on the streets can be dangerous. Very dangerous, especially if you're in a if you're in a dangerous neighborhood. You have your people, you're good to go. Oh yeah, make your game plan. Say what time you're gonna show up. If you're camping, say who's gonna bring the tent. Say who's gonna bring the food. I'll put a list in the description below of things you might need when camping. I'll also put a list down there of what you should bring to the concert. Okay, so like I said, make your game plan. Just make sure you have everything planned out because it makes it so much easier rather than like scrabbling or like doing everything last minute. Honestly, for camping, it all depends on who you're going with. If you go with somebody that you truly enjoy hanging out with, it won't be horrible and it'll be so worth it. For me, the long hours of waiting in line are always worth it. They let you into the venue. Some people might bum rush when they start running. The security will be yelling saying don't run, people are going to do it anyway. But if people are well behaved, they will stand in the line and walk rather than bum rushing and running. If they do start running, start running. If everybody else is running and they can't control it, it's like uh, it's either you're running and getting barricade or you're not running and then you're in the back. Which listen, there is nothing wrong with being in the back of the pit. It can be just as fun if you make it a whole like experience. If you're not by anybody else in the pit, then you're just in the back like with your friends or even by yourself, just like having a little mini dance party. That's so fun too. Now that you got barricade, you just need to survive it. If they have water, you tend to pass out easily at concerts. You can ask security for water if they don't have any, if you're with a friend. 
tell people around you say your friend is gonna leave go get water and they're gonna come back and it might be hard to get your spot but if you get to know the people around you and you become friends with them they'll let you back in but if you don't then they're gonna be like yeah sure your friends at the front if you feel like you can't do it anymore just tell like the security to take you out of the pit take you to the medic because it's not worth your safety to you know be in the front you can still have a fun time in the back and be safe last thing i want to say is please don't put yourself in any danger when camping or staying in line don't cause fights be nice to people and be respectful and remember at the end of the day it's not the end of the world if you don't get barricade if you do good for you and congratulations because it is very fun Thank you.